The Word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and the marrow, and is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All Scripture is God-breathed, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to every one that believeth, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, The just shall live by faith. The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap, if we faint not. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moths and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in or steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. For the word of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your toil is not in vain in the Lord. Be on the alert, stand firm in the faith, act like men, be strong. Let all that you do be done in love. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved it is the power of God. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Now, if ever the world needed encouragement, now is that time. If ever individuals needed hope, it is at this time. God, in His mercy, has placed the Vic Balbido Evangelistic Ministry as one of the means to deliver his message of hope and comfort in the midst of the deplorable global situation. The Bible stands as the only true message of hope and comfort. It alone carries the words God has written to mankind for our salvation and our peace. God perfectly knows those who have trusted in Christ as their Savior. God the Holy Spirit has used the proclamation of the gospel as a vital component to accomplish his work of salvation. The main thrust of this ministry is to lead people to Christ and to lead believers to make Christ real to their lives, not to lead people to a religion. Furthermore, this ministry does not subscribe or is never affiliated with any religious organization. In fact, it is purely autonomous and independent, only dependent on what the Bible says. It is then our prayer that God may continue to allow His Word, the Gospel, to have free course in the entire world. Second Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 1. Before anything else, sa uh, dili pa kita magasugod sa pagpadayon, sa pagtuon sa pulong sa Dios, gi uh, dapit ka uh, usa ka magtutuo to uh, 
use the principle of 1 John 1, 9, which says if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So after you do that, you'll be in fellowship with God and you will be filled with the Holy Spirit and so you will be ready to uh, continue sa pagpadayon, sa pagtuon, sa pulong sa Diyos. Apanalang kanimo, higala, nga wala pa ka makadawat kang Ginoon Iso Kristo ngayon mo manluluwas, gi awhag ka to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Uh, agi ka nagsunod sa mando sa Acts 16.31 which says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Therefore, magampo ta sa ilong. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we are here once again because we love the Word. Because we are members of the royal family of God through our faith in your Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Because from eternity past, our life has had meaning and purpose and definition. Because we are commanded to take in the Word daily, just as we assimilate food daily. And we recognize that this is our briefing, this is our means of growth, this is the means of glorifying the Lord Jesus Christ. We are left here in this world for this purpose, and therefore we ask that through the ministry of God the Holy Spirit, you enlighten us so that His purpose might be fulfilled today. We now pray, Father, that you give us the necessary concentration and focus to the things you're going to teach us today. All this we ask in Jesus' name, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Padayon kita sa atong pagtuon sa pulong sa Diyos. First of all, nagmasalamat kita sa labaong makagahom sa iyang paghatag ka na itong lugway sa itong kinabuhi iya pakitang gi uh, palungtad ang ito ni Higayuna buhi pakita anatas kaskil sa lawas I hope you are o anatay uh, uh, lantip nga pagunahuna our mind is uh, uh, clear and so we are ready to take in the word of God nining at lawa o atong ipadayon ang paghisgot bahin sa uh, unsaon na ito paghimaya uh, o pagpahimot uh, sa Diyos binagi sa itong pagkinabuhing Kristuhanon. How to please God through our spiritual life. So, okay, doon na may duha ka klase Agi kinig review, duha ka klasing mga magtutuo. Just as doon na sa duha ka matang sa mga dili magtutuo. O nga ito na mga kinigisgutan, apan uh, alang kanimo nga magtutuo, who is a believer. This is uh, addressed to you. Nga, <clears throat> okay, ato maning hagi o uh, paglabas lang sa itong uh, panumduman nga What is a winner? Kaya mo mang kiniyang kabubuton sa Diyos nga buot siya nga iyang mga anak mahimong mananaw to become winners in life. Here, in this present life and in the life hereafter. Now, who is the winner believer? Or what is the winner believer? Well, number one, you are residing in the divine dinosphere. And you know already, ugun sa kining divine atmosphere. It is a mental attitude, na sa tungo na una. So you are residing na kanagapuyo diha sa sulod sa divine atmosphere ng mao ang dapit ng may gahom sa Dios. Ikaduha, na ka o na nagiya ka na o doktrina sa Biblia, pagtulunan sa Biblia, Bible doctrine. Ikatulo, 
ikaw nakalampas na, you have passed, sa walo kaganghaan sa uh, past the eight gates of the momentum tests, o ikaw, anana, nakalampas ka na, you have passed. And the number four, you are spiritually mature, hamtong ka ng um, uh, Kristuhanon. Number five, you have fulfilled the protocol plan of God. Pinagi sa imong pagpadayon uh, sa imong spiritual momentum, pagbuilo sa imong kinabuhin Kristuhanon. O gikaunom, imo nang gihimaya ang Diyos, you glorify God. Ang ikapito, you have now historical impact. So, kining pito, the above, are the seven reasons why a believer is declared a winner. Now, sa original nga pulong, Grigo nga pulong, Greek word, nikao. Ang buto pa sa buto sa nikao, an overcomer. Overcomer. O, actually, ang word nga, winners, ang pulong nga Grigo, agathos. Agathos is the word for winners. Now, so mao kanto ang pito ka mga uh, imong natuman, mao na ikaw, you are declared a winner believer. Now, let's go to the loser believer, loser believer. Now, ang una, ana siya magupuyo sa cosmic dinosphere. Atong ginganla ni cosmic dinosphere kay mao man kini ang uh, dapit nga may gahom ni Satanas. So, ang usa ka magtutuo nga tuan magapuyo sa CD kay actually do na duha ni ka klasing CD, Cosmic Dinosphere. Uh, CD1 nga mao ang gitawag og arrogance complex pag mapaytas on. O ang ikaduha nga uh, CD2 mao ang hatred complex. Okay? Now, ang CD1, doon na siya ay 12 gates. Di saan na ito kinihisgutan na pan. Doon na ay 12 gates ang CD1. Whereas ang CD2, doon na ay 9 gates. Siya, siyam. Okay? So, kining CD, Cosmic Dinosphere, Satanic System, kini. Apan, okay, balik rin ko sa Divine Dinosphere na ang atong puyanan ingon ng mga magtutuo, the divine dinosphere has only eight gates. So, atong makita ang si Satanas, di yun pabintaha. Ang una niyang CD, <laughs> doon ay uh, dosi ka mga ganghaan. Ang CD to, siyam ka ganghaan. Na okay. So, ang usa ka magtutuo nga nagpuyo diha sa CD1 o CD2, kaya ga interlock mong kinigong duha, Uh, mao ka na ang una nga siya nagapuyo diha o ang ikaduha gitawa kini siya og servant of satan na maka <laughs> ako ka magtawgon og servant of satan mao ka na ang tawag ang ikatulo gikontrolar siya sa iyang kinaiyang magsasala that's why he is carnal so ang naga dumala sa iyang kinabuhi mao ang iyang kinaiyang magsasala o gang ikaw pat, he is functioning and motivated, all of them will only lead to evil. Pagkadotan. That's why the word in Greek is nikao, the overcomer, the winner. Ang nikao means the winner. O ga... Mau kena anggi hisgutan diha nga overcomer. You are the winner. Og okay, let's open the Bible now. Atong abrihan nga atong Biblia. Kuna kay Biblia dia sa imong kiliran diha abrihi ang Bible ni mo sa Second Corinthians five ten. Segundo Corinto, kapitulo 5, versikulo 10. Ako masahon. Ang verse 5. O 
okay? Oh no, I mean verse 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body, according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Now, kining judgment seat of Christ, mo kining ang gutan o bima. This is the original word, bima. Now, in the original, the Greek word used is agathos. Sa akong gingon ganiha, agathos for winners. So, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Ang CD1, arrogance complex. CD2, hatred complex. Uh, Magbansbanos kita nini ng CD o uh, divine dinosphere. Okay? But the Greek word used for losers is folos. P-H-O-L-O-S. Folos. Ang bot pa sa folos, useless. Only description of believers who reside in these CDs. Folos. Na sa akong pagtuon ni Murag, nagatawa ko kay folos, Murag mag, Murag mag makainong ka, why folos? Murag why po sabi ni Saya. So, why post nang usa ka magtutuo nga na magpuyo sa CDs, CD1, CD2. Nga kini sila ka interlock. Okay. Diha sa Filipo stress disuto um na ihisgutan di ang enemies of the cross, believers who reside in the uh, uh, cosmic dinosphere. Believers who reside there are called enemies of the cross. Their destiny is destruction. Their God is their belly. Now, nga naman ang isgutan man ang belly. Ang ubang mga Biblia ang isgutog stomach, tiyan, appetite. Now, ang buot pa sa buot yun ini, it is emotions, pagbati. Their glory is in their shame Their churches want to use emotions. Na yung mga kasimbahanan niya. Ang ilang pagkadakan, ang ilang mga emosyon. Ilang pagbati. Na yun yung kahiba ko magkakun sa yoyo, no? Yun yung yoyo, it goes up and down. Kini sila, they feel emotional. Mura sila high sila. Now, During the judgment seat of Christ, katung bima, na ay mga magtutuo nga mga uwaw will be ashamed. In 1 John 2.28, the Word of God says, And now, little children, abide in Him, that when He shall appear, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before Him at His coming. Now, nga naman yung akit sa may nagsuwat ni ini, di ba si Pablo? Now, ang iyang pangingon o little children, ano sa'yo buto pa sambot? And now, little children, ang buto pa sambot ni baby believers. Mga bata, mga gagmayang bata pa. Kaya huwag pa man mangitubo. God works all things together for the good. Di man na nato ng versikulo sa Roma 8.28. Nga ang tanan nga naghitabo sa itong kinabuhi. Works, God works all things together for the good. Kaya ang the good niya, maong plano sa Diyos. Now, so again, the winner, balik na punta sa winner, The winner is called Nikao, which means overcomer, or Agathos, the good. In the word of God, a spiritual believer is the good. Okay? Now, the loser, Antonopoulos loser, he is called Folos, which means useless, worthless, vanity, empty. Kabahang, why soon? 
na sa ako laging pagtuon, laging niini, nagkatawalan sa ako kay pupariha ni sa nga isang ni sa why pulos. Kaya ang Greco, Grego nga pulo, ang Greek word is folos. So why pulos din yung mga magtutuo nga tuwa magpuyo sa <coughs> cosmic dinosphere ni Satanas? Kung who are these believers that are folos? Those who are residing in the city. CD1, CD2. Now, ug sa Hebrew handon, let's go to the Hebrew word. The word they use there for follows is hebe. It's e b e. Hebe meaning empty. No, so isa nga ay man isa binisaya nga hebe hebe. Di ba mo magkatawa ba ta makainumdum? Hebe. Hebe which means Empty in English, okay? Sa English, empty. In Greek, ibaw ka kung sa Greek, matayotes. Mau ka na ang bud pa sa butog, empty. Empty or vacuum. Now, these believers are just living their lives just like that of unbelievers. You cannot distinguish them as believers. Maglisod ka. Kay, ang ilang kinabuhi, gibasihan man lang sa mga uh, kalibutanon, mga satanic nga mga doktrina, kawa na'y kamaturan. Mauna nga, miserable yun ang usa ka magtutuo, nga tuwa magpuyo sa CD. Now, can you afford to be in that state? I'm addressing this to you, believer. But again, because there are believers in Christ, hmm? mga magtutuo man silang tinood kang ginoong Iso Kristo, even if they reside in the cities, inikamatay ni Ininila, asa man sila muwanto? Langit o impyerno? Langit. At ito kaya po sila sa langit, tapang ang ilang kinabuhay din eh, sa yuta, makaluluoy. You see? I hope you get the point. Now, ang tutaroon sa Filipos 1.20, Philippians 1.20, and it says, According to my earnest expectation and my hope that in nothing I shall be ashamed, but that with all boldness as always, so now also Christ shall be magnified in my body, whether it be by life, or by death. Now, a believer will be ashamed of what? Kaya diha sa Pilipos 3, at doon napunta sa Pilipos 3, 18 ang tos 19, in verse 18 it says, For many walk of whom I have told you often, and now tell you even weeping, that they are the enemies of the cross of Christ. Si Pablo mo ay nagasulti ni ini. Nga, murag, murag nihilak na yun taon si Apostol Pablo ni ini. Nga wag yun siya yung nakita nga pagka mananaog sa mga magtutuo dito. Verse 19, whose end is destruction, whose God, small letter G, whose God is their belly, and whose glory is in their shame, who mind earthly things. Now, kinsay nagsultin din eh, akong balikon, si Apostol Pablo. Now, listen. A believer who lives by emotion is like a yo-yo. It goes up and down. He feels spiritual, high, but no doctrine. There is vacuum, hebe, Hebrew word for empty, matayotes. Sirado, I mean, uh, uh, kabhang, waisod. So these believers will be ashamed during the judgment seat of Christ, sa bima. Ani, maunikini sila ang mga uaw. Philippians 1.20 talks about shame in heaven. While ikaw, Believer, who is spiritual, hmm, nagatubo sa pulong sa Diyos, you are on your way to be a nikaw. 
winner. Now open to 1 John 2:28. Ablihi ang imong Biblia. 1 Juan kapitulo 2 versikulo 28. It says in English, and now little children abide in him that when he shall appear we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. Now, little children upon baby believers. Now, kining gihisgutan din eh, mao kini ang rapture, ang pagsakgaw sa simbahan. Now, <clears throat> okay. Kung ikaw magtutuo, had been residing in the divine dinosphere, on sa itong divine dinosphere, mao ni dapit na may gahom sa Diyos, mao kini ang normal nga dapit puloy anan sa mga magtutuo now if you believer had been residing in the divine atmosphere most of your time functioning right in fulfilling God's protocol plan for your life you had been utilizing God's grace provision like the various doctrinal rationales or example sa mga doctrinal rationales, rebound technique, faith rest technique, God's ten problem solving devices, etc., etc. Tagan kayo ng mga doctrinal rationales. Then you are confident. You have no worry. You have no anxiety. Well, ako lang kang tagan ng himplo ni ni yan ng himplo. Excuse me. If you're facing an examination, a test in your school, let's presume you're a student. If you studied well your lesson, preparing yourself, you're well prepared. Now, would you be afraid, worried to face that test? No. Instead, you are confident, diba? You are confident na kay uh, kanang uh, Paglaom, you're confident. Na kay kaisog, jamong ko ganon. So that was Paul's admonition to the believers. The secret is very simple. Nsa may secret to nini. Just reside in the divine atmosphere. And we said that divine atmosphere is a mental attitude. Be sure to reside in the divine atmosphere. Function in the divine atmosphere. Now, ato karon ta sa Revelation chapter two verse ten. Pinadayag dos jes. It says in English, "Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that we may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days." Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Now, maone ang corona ing nung tapurong purong agi o ganti ng dos mga mananao ng mga magtutoo. Kining crown of life ang bot sa pasabot sa crown sa original ng Greek word it's Stephanos. Stephanos, the Greeks used this in their Olympic games. Sa mga victorious soldiers na sa mga Roman ng mga sundalo. Now, reward for believers who reside in the Didi. Mao kini ang imong mga ganti nga ihatag sa Dios kanimo sa imong pagmatinumanon sa pagsunod sa iyang mando. So these are the rewards for believers who reside in the divine atmosphere for their faithfulness in using the following. Okay. Nagagamit ka adlaw-adlaw sa prinsipyo sa rebound o pagpasig-uli ng ito sa Diyos. Rebound. Rebound technique. The recovery technique. Ikaduha, ang imong adlaw-adlaw ng pagtuman sa upag sunod sa grace apparatus for perception ug daghang mga kaimanan nini apil ng pastor magtutudlo ang biblia ang 
dapat niyo nang gigamitan sa mong pag uh, Bible study aron maka function ka mo sa inyong grace apparatus for perception. Amon ay ikaduha. Ang ikatulo maong imo ng paggamit sa doktrina. Mm -hmm. Nahinom doon ka ba sa itong uh, Operation SLA? Study, learn, and apply. Okay? So, ikaw nag apply nagagamit na sa doktrina ng imong nakatunan nga nahanadihan yung tuhop na diha sa imong galamhan, sa imong uh, kalag, o imo na ka ng uh, mo ka na ni base sa imong pagkinuhi, ingon nga kristuhanon. To function uh, effectively and uh, uh, what's supposed to be pag-function ni mo ingon nga kristuhanon. Ang ikaupat, ang imong pag- uh, baton sa tukma gihug ng mga pasiuna right priorities o ikaw na sayod sa essentials in the Christian way of life you now can uh, 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 distinguish the essentials from the non-essentials in the Christian life now naibaw ka magunsay mga essentials sa Christian life ang Diyos o gang iyang pulong o gang iyong pagtuon sa pulong sa Diyos adlaw-adlaw ano ang iyong adlaw-adlaw man okay balik na puntas pag hayag pagpadayang kami mo nga gikinahanglan itong adlaw-adlaw ang pagtuon tungod kay adlaw-adlaw man puntang mga tubag mga suliran sa kinabuhi okay o maukin iyang mando in fact sa Diyos but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. 2 Peter 3.18 Okay, magutan ako ni mo karon. Who and what is your number one priority in life? Kinsa man, ugunsa man, ang nagaunang pasiuna. Nagaunang pasiuna, dubli naman ron. Unsa man yun ang imong top priority sa kinabuhi. Hmm? Is it, is it your job? Is it your wife? Is it your husband? Your loved ones? Is it your car? Is it anything you think is valuable to you? Mane ako kang gipangutana. Well, ang matang usaka tao, ana siya iyang kaugalingong pasiuna sa kinabuhi. And that's his privilege and right. What's important is that he is contented and happy with that kind of priority. But most especially, its ultimate end result is positively beneficial and is God-ward. God-ward ba? Tumong maong Diyos. No, dili man na ito na ikalimod nga daghang mga tao na bagang duot sa katawan karong panahon na anaa sila yung mga sayop ng mga pasiuna silang kinabuhi apan nga naman is it because of several factors one is his environment yung palibot and, that, and, and one that gives him considerable experiences in life well for me it is his influence surrounding him that greatly affects his life. Diba? Now, one very striking thing on this particular matter is the fact that people, instead of making God their priority, they change God to gold as their priority. Gold. Bulawan, bahandi, salapi, mga properties, unsa pa. Kamtangan. Yes, it's true that gold, which stands for money as our source of, for living, is legitimate. There's nothing bad with money. And in fact, money is grace. Gracia magaling. Hinatag sa Dios, which God gives us in order to be able to survive. Diba? But what we should look into and take into consideration is this. Money is not the root of evil. 
It is the love of money that is the root of all evil. Now, ang emphasia in the modern world, dili kinikalikayan, mao ang salapi. Sapi, sapi. That's the priority of a large number of people in this world today. And that priority is wrong. Why wrong? Anong sayo pa? It is wrong because instead of making God as our priority, the source of everything, it is already gold, 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 which means salapi. We should not forget the principle in the Word of God. The Bible says that man is a product of his own decision. Gusto? And because man decides to make gold or money as his priority in life, then as the adage says, money is not the root of all evil. It is the love. Lagi, gugmani mo sa salapi. Therefore, evil comes when our priority is wrong. Manana. And whatever happens to us or what we are is a product of our decision. Produkto ragyunta sa atong gihimong decision. God is not to blame but ourselves. Then after you have believed and accepted Christ as Lord and Savior, kumani mo dawata siya, God tells us to study His Word. The Bible where we can find ang iyang mga saan, mga dili, mapakyas. And in fact, doon na siya pila ka mga saan. Ang Diyos ay doon ay pito kalibo ka mga saan diya sa iyang pulong. 7,000 promises for every believer in Christ to hold on. Nga nung 7,000, di man 6,000 o 8,000. 7,000, tuhod kayo ang 7, number 7 is God's number. So, mga nang giingo na ito, 7,000 promises. Ang gisaad sa Diyos, sa matag, usa ka na itong mga magtutuo. Naro na, ni mumudawat ka ba ni Neode? Basta kay mao ka na yung prinsipyo din sa pulo sa Diyos. So by studying God's word, it is tantamount to feeding our soul, and we feed it not only on a weekly basis but on a daily basis. Lagi, adlaw adlaw, sama sa atong pagkaug material food for our body on a daily basis. So sa atong pagtuon sa pulong sa Dios adlaw adlaw, kita naga pagkaon sa atong kalag adlaw adlaw po. So that. It grows spiritually until it reaches maturity, spiritual maturity. And by reaching maturity, now, ni kabot ni mo niya ng mao ng ang ang na akan ay katakos sa pagkinabuhi. Life would be fabulous. Kina nilutan na imo kinabuhi. Na nakay katakos sa pagkinabuhi, katakos sa paghigugma, katakos sa pagpahimo sa kalipay o sa mga panalangin. That way, we glorify God. More na, bahin nga kita makahimaya sa Dios. Sa panahon nga makaambot nata si spiritual maturity. That way, we become real and good Christians, and become a model to be emulated. We become assets to society, thus making a big contribution not only to our country. But most especially to God, the author of all and the giver of all. So, it is therefore essential to study the Bible, which is the greatest and best book ever written, because it contains God's inerrant word. The only book where we can learn what should be our right priority in life in order to reach capacity for life. In other words, we would be able to prioritize the giver rather than the gift. I hope you get that point. Let us therefore make God and His Word our priority. We are sure to become winners in life. Rather than making money our priority, which assures you of becoming a loser in life. Finally, God in His Word has found in 
Matthew 6, 33, ninomdong ka. Matthew 6, 23, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Well, Ma, ang pulong sa Diyos, mo ni basic instruction before leaving earth. Sa di ba tamo? Mutaliwan yung dapita. Magi dumalaan ni Satanas. So, let us start studying this basic instruction. The instruction manual sa Diyos. The inerrant word of God. The key to a successful, meaningful purposeful and abundant Christian life. What do you think on this, my friend? Ikaw nga dili magtuto o ikaw nga magtuto. What do you think of that? So, Bible doctrine should be our number one priority. The principle stands, whatever is your priority in life runs your life. What's that? Do you? Uh, does it make sense? Whatever is your priority in life runs your life. However, for you believer, alang kanimo magtuto, igsoon nga magtuto. If Bible doctrine is now your number one priority in life, you are definitely on your way to spiritual maturity. Meaning, you are now a potential winner believer. Potential. May kahigayunan ka na na mahimong mananaw. Bantay. What's how? Kaya you will soon become dangerous. <laughs> Kung ikaw makaabot na niya ng pagka-winner pagka believer. Why? Dangerous to Satan and his demons. Dangerous to this evil world. Dangerous to the forces of evil. You are dangerous because you carry and bear God's truth. You are an, eff an effective preservative salt of the earth. Matthew 5, 13. Basa ka na, kay ikaw mawang asin nga nagapresirbar ni ining at tunggi ang kalibutan. It's a wonderful thing to have Bible doctrine as our number one priority. Since that is following God's will and purpose in our life. Mau ka na ang katinuuran sa panultihon nga sa ganan tumadungog. Life is fabulous with doctrine but miserable without it. Now, ang tanda ko ni mo, have you experienced and tasted this kind of life? A fabulous, fantastic, dynamic, an infinitely awesome kind of life that the world does not understand. Wak yun. Wai kalimutan yun. No clue ang kalimutan may tungkol din ni. At least, nagtuon ka sa pulong sa Diyos. This is a challenge to all of us. Wai kalimutan ang kalimutan. Wai kalimutan. Wai, yes, no clue ang kalimutan may tungkol din ni. Ikaw lamang Nagtuon sa kamaturan. Did you forget that uh, biblical principle that says God's plan is the best and the highest? Kinindutan o kinalabuan? And while you are still in phase two of God's plan, residing and functioning inside the divine atmosphere, don't ever forget God's ironclad guarantee to you. Winner believer, when he assures you that the best is yet to come. Yes. Mauni saan sa Diyos, the best is yet to come. He assures you. That's how awesome our God is, di ba? And we can only realize and experience it when we keep on keeping on in our spiritual momentum through residence and function of the faith rest life. Ang kinabuhi nga may pagtuo nga nagdala o kapahulayan. And living that life God wants us to live. The unique, fantastic, sophisticated spiritual life called in Greek as Eusebea. Being in godliness. 
pagkadiyos nun. A life that, of course, is pleasing to God. So, if you are a winner believer, you will receive two things. Okay. Na kay pagadawaton. Mawita akong ingon ni mo nga. Ang imong buluhaton ingon nga Kristuhanon is not in vain. Why dili kay way pos? Why kapuslanan? Na ay kapuslanan sa tanan ni mo ginabuhat agig sunod sa mando sa Dios. So, ako malikon, if you are a winner believer now, you will receive two things. Asa ni mo dawata na? Dito na sa eternidad. Pag-uban na nato sa Dios. Okay, ang una ni ni the crown of life. Purong-purong skinabuhi. Ikaduha, order of the morning star. Ikatulo, Atawang isgutan niya. Uniform of glory. Revelation 3, 4 to 5. Now, diha sa versikulo 4, Revelation, pinadayan. Thou hast a few names, even in Sardis, which have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. Now, kining uh, tanawa ka na kung you are looking at your Bible ka nang giingon diya uh, not defile their garments hmm? defile sa iyo buod pa sa buod defile ang buod pa sa buod gaw 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 now who are these uh, gaw 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 din eh defile their garments garments din na Kini ang mga magtutuo, gidescribe din niya mga magtutuo ng tuwa sa diva, uh, cosmic dinosphere, dili divine. Cosmic dinosphere, CD1 or CD2. Gaw-gaw-gaw sila sa ilang mga sinina. And they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. Okay? Now, verse 5. He that overcometh, nananapod ng overcometh. Mamo ni meaning sa nikao. Nikao, N-I-K-A-O. Nikao, meaning overcomer. He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white raiment. And I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says. To the churches. Now, by the way, ang church din he is not yet raptured. Wa pa sa gawa. Mao nang diha naging on he who has an ear let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Okay. Now, every time the Book of Revelation says, "He who has an ear let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches." Rapture has not occurred yet. Kaya na pa man. The Spirit says to the churches. So, wa pa may tabo ang pagsakdaw. But on the preceding chapters of the book of Revelation, muhunong na ka na. In the preceding chapters, it stops saying, He who has an ear, let him hear. Nga naman. Nga nung muhunong naman. Because the church, you... You, you, kamu mga magtutuo, kita mga magtutuo sa tibok kalibutan are already gone for the rapture. No ano ta? Kwa onta sa Dios. First Thessalonians four sixteen seventeen. Ang unsa gisulti dyes? First Thessalonians four sixteen. The Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first, and that we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Mao na rapture. Kuwawa na ta kitang tanang mga magtutugi ka ni kalibutan na 
kaya dili buod ang Diyos nga kita may ago mo makaabot sa seven year tribulation period nga kinagrabihang panahon sa kasaysayan sa tao. Mga ni tribulation period di ang naibili din sa kalimutan pulos lang mga dili magtutuo. So, pila na may imong dua tunon ng mga rewards in heaven. The dua tunon is gutan, the crown of life, order of the morning star. By the way, kining order of the morning star, this is the highest decoration. Kina labuan na ni. Kina tas ang uh, kanang uh, ganti ni mo. And the number three is the uniform of glory. Revelation 3, 4 to 5. Now, okay, bali, ato ta sa Revelation chapter 2, verse 17. Revelation 2, 17, it says, He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written, which no man knoweth, saving he that receiveth it. Now, underline this white stone, Dini. Getting white stone. What is this white stone here, by the way? So, by the way, na may gasulti diha sa first uh, sentence. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. So, is the church raptured? Not yet. The church here is not yet raptured. Ganapo may gasulti diha what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Now, balik tanya to white stone. Listen, ang white stone diha, hmm? and will give him a white stone, it is, are you ready? Are you ready to know what is this? The white stone is the resurrection body of believers. Binanhaw nga lawas sa mga magtutuo. What is your attitude towards this? This physical body nga atong gimaayo gudog Atiman, gipintalan, gihugas-hugasan, giligo, and the world now. Excuse me. Kini ni atong lawas. Kini di ang lawasa. Ilisan. This is going to be changed. Kitarang mga believer, ilisan o resurrection body. Okay? Ikaw nga kristuhanon karon nga nagpaminaw ni ini. Uh, ilisan ka ng imong lawas. You will be changed. Now, resurrection body ang ipuli yan ang imong lawas ka ron. Nga magkita na ko, di ha, nga guwapo, guwapa, ayaw ni mong atiman na ng lawas ha. Pulihan ka na, ilisan ka na sa resurrection body. Body of resurrection. How about ang mga unbelievers? Ilisan ba po ni sila? Ilisan ba ni sila naglawas? Yes. Ang panang ilaha, paminaw, ang ilaha, dili resurrection body, kundi li body of damnation. Ang ato, mga believers, resurrection body. Ang ilahang mga unbelievers, body of damnation. That's the big difference. Mauna ay kinadakan nga Differentia. Now the white stone there in that verse refers to the resurrection body. Sa ako na ginaingon ni mo. In First Thessalonians three thirteen, ako na po ning i shift na po dito sa First Thessalonians three thirteen. It says the winner always stands guiltless before God. It says in that verse to the end. He may establish your hearts unblameable, unblameable in holiness before God. Now this means a winner believer always stand uh, stands guiltless or blameless in holiness before God. Now, 
Let's go to Matthew 24, 40-41. Magabalin-balin kita nini mga versikulo. Matthew 24, 40-41. Verse 40, it says, Then shall two be in the field. The one shall be taken, and the other left. Verse 41, Two women shall be grinding at the mill. The one shall be taken, and the other left. Now, kinira ba mga puwanan nin na may uh, puwanan nin giimprinta din he? So, kinsa man din ang sultin nin eh, si Gino Jesus Cristo. Okay? You know what these two verses mean? Rapture. Rapture ba ni? <laughs> Now, dili, dili ni rapture. This is not rapture. Listen. This is separation pagbuwag sa mga believers from the unbelievers during the second advent ikaduwang pagbalik ni Ginoong Hesus Kristo din sa kalibutan Revelation 19 verse 7 says Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the lamb is come and his wife hath made herself ready There is going to be a wedding feast raba na ay kumbira, na ay kasal. There is going to be a wedding feast and who are invited in this wedding feast? Kinsaman. Answer, the Old Testament believers are being invited here. Sila ang gidapit. Now go back to Revelation 2.26. Revelation 2.26. To him... Who overcomes, nana po nang overcomes. To him who overcomes and keeps my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. Now, ikaw, nga miembro sa church age, sakop sa church age, will be given the authority, the power to rule over nations. Did you hear me right? Mao na ang imong paga dumalahon. You are going to rule over nations. Therefore, mami now, ikaw nga winner ni ining church age will be given power to rule over nations. What is the Lord Jesus Christ? One of his titles. Nenundum ka? Unsa usa ang usa sa iyang mga titulo? King of kings and Lord of lords. Now. Iba ka kinsan ni mga kings. Ang mga kings din he nga gisugutan mao ang mga church age believers. Ikaw nga magtutuo din he sa panahon sa simbahan. You are the king. And who are the lords? Ang Old Testament believers. Sila ni Abraham, Isaac, David, sila dito. Mao ni ang mga lords. Lords lang ni sila ikaw, king. Yeah, muna. Ang mga Old Testament believers will rule only cities, mga siyudadra. Apan ikaw nga church age believer, you will rule nations. Tiyaw mo na. Nani mo mo tuog yan pong Nani mo. Can you not realize unsa ka-importante di ay ninyo? I hope makita ni mo klaro kini. Unya, di lang ninyo panumbalingon ka ng inyong pagkakristuhanon in the church age? Don't you know nga kining atong panahon, the church age, this is the age of equal privileges and equal opportunities? Sila si Moses, sila sa mga karaan ng mga Old Testament believers, long to see the day na imo karon o akong gipaymuslan ni ni church age. Nga pa isi-isi lang ka. Mauning hagit kini kanimo igsuong magtuto. Nga maamuguhan nung ta ni mo kini nga na ay anda mag Diyos nga mga ganti. Nung balik-balik ko na kung ingon ni mo nga kini nga itong ginabuhat is not in vain kung you do not faint di ka mo unsa atras. Kay baruganay na karong panahon na oy. Hindi na madahan mga kompromiso pa rin. 
we cannot afford to compromise our stand as believers. Kaya labi na rong panahon na nga, mahulgaon kayong panahon. O mao nga, this is really the time now. It's true and you must have noticed that we are living in this confused, spoiled, corrupt, evil, pampered generation with great uncertainty. Kasagaran, bagang duot sa katawahan karon are miserably in a quandary and do keep asking about who they are and worst, what to believe in. Yan na sila kayo bawon sa ilang tuwan. Kaya ang uh, katiling ba, the society has turned truth on its side and what we used to be right is now considered wrong. Huwag kang magkaalinggat na na. And what, you, and what used to be wrong is now considered right. Many are searching for life's purpose. Many are searching for life's peace and happiness. But ultimately they find that what the world offers leaves you empty. Our Lord Jesus Christ is the only hope in all of these disappointments in life. If people believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, that settles all things. Din hirag takutob sa atong pagtuon, nining adlawa, gidapit ka gihapon higala sa pagsunod ning atong daily, daily na ning atong Bible study through YouTube and Facebook. Akong balikon nga kining atong ministry, grasyang hinatag sa Diyos, o narana kanimo na kamay kabubot on, God says, I'm just tapping my foot. I'm ready to accept you or di ka magmahay sa akong mga ganti o niya. I am the creator of heaven and earth and we ha I have everything in store for you. Just be on the right track. Paminaw, uh, katuni, o niya gamita ka ni sa imong kinabuhi o dili ka magmahay. I am a God of truth. Magampota. With our heads bowed and eyes closed, let us dedicate the closing moments of our Bible study to those of you who are without Christ, without hope, and without eternal life. This is a moment, a moment in your life, no matter what you think, no matter what you believe. It is a moment of consideration. It's a moment to put everything out of your mind. Think about the Lord Jesus Christ. Think about His person. What does all this mean? What is Christianity? Christianity is Christ. It's a relationship with God through Christ. John 14, 6, he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. There's only one way to have relationship to God. The scripture says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Works, all the works that you can do have nothing to do with your relationship with God. Why? Because you are a sinner. Because you are not perfect as God is perfect. Because His perfect righteousness has to reject unrighteousness and you are unrighteous. No matter how many good deeds you do, that's where Christ comes in. That's how important He is because He is the only one who can present you faultless before God. How does He do that? Well, He went to the cross. He went to the cross for only one reason, to die. To die for you. To die for every member of the human race. He didn't care whether people rejected Him or not. He died for them. That's God's grace. His absolute grace. And what does that mean for Him to die for all of us? That means that while He was hanging on the cross, God the Father imputed all our sins, all the sins of mankind to Christ. He took all of your sins upon Himself. And when He did that, He paid the penalty for all of those sins. He paid the penalty demanded by God for sin. Sin is spiritual death. And what do we mean by spiritual death? It is 
total separation from God. Jesus Christ died a substitutionary spiritual death so that we don't have to. Hence, when the scripture says God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. So, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Magamputa. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for that so great salvation through your only begotten Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. May God the Holy Spirit challenge us to execute the unique spiritual life just so we can attain the capacity stage in the glorification of you. This we ask in Jesus' name, our Lord and Savior. Amen.